a quadratic in standard form looks like y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not zero. A quadratic function in vertex form looks like y equals a times x minus h squared plus k, where a, h, and k are real numbers and a is not zero. When a function's in vertex form, it's easy to read off the vertex. It's just the ordered pair h, k. This video explains how to get from vertex form to standard form and vice versa. Let's start by converting this quadratic function from vertex form to standard form. That's pretty straightforward. We just have to distribute out. So if I multiply out the x minus 3 squared, I get minus 4 times x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus 1. Distributing the negative 4, I get negative 4x squared plus 24x minus 36 plus 1. So that works out to minus 4x squared plus 24x minus 35. And I have my quadratic function now in standard form. Now let's go the other direction and convert a quadratic function that's already in standard form into vertex form. That is, we want to put it in the form of g of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k, where the vertex is at h k. To do this, it's handy to use the vertex formula. The vertex formula says that the x-coordinate of the vertex is given by negative b over 2a, where a is the coefficient of x squared and b is the coefficient of x. So in this case, we get an x-coordinate of negative 8 over 2 times 2, or negative 2. To find the y-coordinate of the vertex, we just plug in the x-coordinate into our formula for g of x. So that's g of negative 2, which is 2 times negative 2 squared plus 8 times negative 2 plus 6. And that works out to be negative 2 by coincidence. So the vertex for our quadratic function has coordinates negative 2, negative 2. And if I want to write g of x in vertex form, it's going to be a times x minus negative 2 squared plus minus 2. That's because, remember, we subtract h and we add k. So that simplifies to g of x equals a times x plus 2 squared minus 2. And finally, we just need to figure out what this leading coefficient a is. But notice, if we were to multiply, distribute this out, then the coefficient of x squared would end up being a. So therefore, the coefficient of x squared here, which is a, has to be the same as the coefficient of x squared here, which we <laughs> conveniently also call a. In other words, our a down here needs to be 2. So I'm going to write that as g of x equals 2 times x plus 2 squared minus 2. Lots of 2's in this problem. And that's our quadratic function in vertex form. If I want to check my answer, of course, I could just distribute out again. I'd get 2 times x squared plus 4x plus 2 minus 2. In other words, 2x squared plus 8x plus 6, which checks out to exactly what I started with. This video showed how to get from vertex form to standard form by distributing out, and how to get from standard form to vertex form by finding the vertex using the vertex formula.